Welcome to the SCP Foundation Integrated File Server. To begin, please insert your Foundation Personnel badge into the card reader. Authorization. Approved. Please select Items Numerical Code to view. Processing. Your file is ready to view. Item Hashtag, SCP-3460 Object Class, Safe Thou Meal Special Containment Procedures, SCP-3460 is to be stored within an electronic storage container within the High Security Containment Wing of Site-64. All testing involving SCP-3460 requires approval of both the Site Ethics Committee and Site Command. Update. Following the events of 17-11-1998 all further testing slash MTF use of SCP-3460 requires O5 approval. Additionally, SCP-3460 may only be used to target two subjects at any given time, with a grace period of six months to occur between subject interaction and the next activation. Description, SCP-3460 is an electronic apparatus resembling a mid-20th century polygraph machine. Unlike other polygraph machines of the era, which typically possess four needles for the measurement of an individual's respiration rate, skin conductance, and blood pressure, SCP-3460 only possesses two needles and no external sensors. Near the base of each needle is a 8 cm by 11 cm slot. SCP-3460's anomalous properties become apparent when the photographs of any two living individuals are placed within the slots at the base of the needles, and the apparatus is turned on. At this point, the needles will begin to trace lines along chart paper produced by SCP-3460 in a manner similar to non-anomalous polygraph tests. As of the time of writing, SCP-3460 has not run out of chart paper on which to operate. In the event that the two individuals whose photographs have been loaded into SCP-3460 interact with each other, the needles will automatically turn and begin to produce a single line for the duration of the interaction separating again when the interaction ends. The nature of these interactions is varied, ranging from an individual reading a note from the other, to sexual contact. SCP-3460's needles can be physically manipulated to align with one another. In these events, SCP-3460 will alter causality to ensure that individuals under its effects interact with one another. The delay of the onset of this interaction is variable, with interactions occurring in a range of as little as one hour, to multiple years. Once needles have been forced to align, the subject's photos do not need to remain in SCP-3460 to ensure interaction. Addendum 3460A, Abridged Testing Log, Hide Test Log Test Hashtag, 3460 to 1 Subjects, D2121 and D2030 Description. D2121 and D2030 are initially within separate chambers on site. SCP-3460's needles are left in the neutral position. D2121 is then escorted to D2030's chamber, and told to wait for further instructions. Upon entering D2030's chamber, SCP-3460's needles aligned. The needles remained aligned until D2121 was removed from the chamber, at which point they returned to their neutral position. Test hashtag, 3460 to 4 subjects, D5963 and D7639 description, D5963 and D7639 are initially within separate chambers on site. SCP-3460's needles are manually forced apart. D5963 is then escorted to D7639's chamber. Prior to entry, a malfunction occurs within the door's security reader preventing entry into D-7639's chamber. Attempts to repair the reader fail until SCP-3460's needles are released. Test hashtag, 3460 to 13 subjects, D-3340 and D-2321 description, D-3340 begun the test at Site-81, while D-2321 remained at Site-64, and were integrated into the general D-class populations. Research staff handling both D-Class were blind to the ongoing SCP-3460 research involving both individuals. SCP-3460's needles were manually set to align. No observable changes occurred for two weeks, after which time both Site-81 and Site-64 SD-Class relocation systems scheduled both D-Class to be moved to Site-88 for newly scheduled testing. Test hashtag, 3460 to 15 subjects. 
D2106 and D3560 Description D2106 and D3560 begun testing in the same chamber. The D-Class were provided multiple tools, as well as a key for a set of handcuffs. The tools were demonstrated to be functioning normally to both D-Class, and that the key fit the handcuffs. The D-Class were then handcuffed together, at which point the needles on SCP-3460 were manually forced to align, and held in place. The D-Class were then instructed to remove the handcuffs, and for D-3560 to leave the chamber. During the subsequent attempts by the D-Class to remove the handcuffs, they found that the key jammed in the lock, and the batteries on all electric tools died. The handles on several manual tools broke on attempted use. Upon release of SCP-3460's needles, the D-Class found the key to the handcuffs no longer were jammed, and D-3560 was able to complete the task. Test Hashtag 3460 to 16 subjects, D3360 and D2860 description, D3360 and D2860 begun testing in the same chamber handcuffed together. The needles on SCP-3460 were manually forced apart, and held in place. After two hours of no apparent effect, D2860 begun to display symptoms of a cerebrovascular accident, requiring immediate medical attention and removal from the testing chamber. Test hashtag, 3460 to 25 subjects, Agent Cadence Forrester and point number 10205, Danis Demos, description, SCP-3460 was loaded with a picture of Agent Cadence Forrester, resident thaumatologist of MTF Tau-51, urban brawl, and point number 10205, a known an artist who has been wanted by the Foundation for involvement in the creation of various anomalies. As of 29-10-1994, point number 10205 has avoided capture by Foundation operatives by taking refuge in the location of interest known as Backdoor Soho. SCP-3460 was activated and the needles set to align. Two months passed without any noticeable effect. Then, on February 1, 1995, point number 10205 spontaneously appeared before Agent Forrester during her undercover operations in Portland, Oregon. Upon capture and subsequent interview, point number 10205 revealed she was attempting to use a known way linking backdoor Soho to the location of interest known as the Wanderer's Library, when she was apparently redirected. Additional use of SCP-3460 by mobile task force operatives as a means of monitoring or even capturing potential persons of interest has been approved on a case-by-case -case basis. SCP-3460's object class has been updated to Thou Meal. Addendum 3460B, Incident 3460-1 on 17-11-1998, a coordinated raid by multiple chaos insurgency cells was launched on Site-64 resulting in multiple personnel casualties and severe damage to several sections of the facility. Agents Reed, Carol, Garcia, and Chen were among the casualties, each of whom were active subjects of SCP-3460 at the time of the raid. After action investigation showed that each agent's co-subject on SCP-3460 had been leaders of the chaos insurgency cells responsible for the attacks. Each agent's activation of SCP-3460 had occurred individually of one another, over the course of a four-year period. SCP-3460's containment procedures have been updated. Addendum 3460C, Recovery SCP-3460 was recovered from the estate sale of Cody and June Pullman within the three Portlands location of interest by undercover operatives of MTF Tau-51 on December 12, 1992. SCP-3460 was within a box and had been loaded with a picture of June Pullman and an unidentified male, with the needles taped apart from one another. Subsequent interviews inquiring about the device with the Pullman's surviving family revealed that they had no knowledge of the device's properties, of the identity of the unidentified male in the photograph, and that the apparatus had been stored in their parents' attic prior to their death in an automobile accident earlier that year. Attempts to use SCP-3460 to interact with the unidentified individual have so far been met with failure.